The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this December day. This is Tuesday, 21st of December, and we're looking at the Dow up 298 points at 35,231. That sounds like a lot, but look at that smash from the 36,189 level to 34,715 yesterday. Uh, it was just three days. That that that's that was quite a beating. And it's the H pattern, the lowercase H pattern. So this is a nice balance. I suspect that this is well. This is what I'm thinking. <clears throat> a number of people I've been hearing over the last, I'd say, week or so. We've been talking about the 20th. Uh, full was that a full moon? I'm not sure. But they're talking about the 20th as being a potential reversal date to the upside. Um. I, I suspect that a lot of people were just itching to get back in. And my thinking last night was twofold. One is that the stocks that normally I would love to grab, the ones that have just been beaten down mercilessly, mercifully, unmercifully, I should say, um, and plunged 25, 35% or even more, they're the ones that people are going to gravitate to immediately. And if those give everything up by the end of the day, these people are going to be really disappointed and just kind of, they're ready to kind of give up and throw everything out. If what happens is that you get this gap to the upside, then you get an intraday bout of weakness, doesn't have to go negative, just a bout of weakness for those particular stocks not in general, but in specifically those stocks. And that goes to the QQQ. Look at this, the QQQ red candle at the low of the day after the gap up at 384.05, spiced to 384.93, and is now at 381.84, almost at the low of the day. Um, that's going to be very disappointing. That's why I've been saying be as selective as possible. And what I said to subscribers is that... Um, how the money gravitates towards the oversold stocks and how the prices hold at the end of the day, it's going to be really telling. So what we did, we did some buying and uh, more trading buying. And, and we did buy one very low price stock, single digit stock. I'm giving it a little bit of room. Um, and I wanted it to be, it acted so well in the last couple of days. And then I said to myself, well, maybe it's acted well as the markets pull back. But if the market has a big rally, maybe it'll pull back and that'll be a bit of a test to see how it acts. I like this stock. We've had it before. We've treated it as a screamer. It had a quick 3% gain the day that we got it. We took some profits at a certain point and then we raised the stop. So we took a little bit of a loss on the stop. But the, the, the big gain really made up for everything. And in this particular instance, I'm looking at it slightly differently. I think it's starting to improve on a technical basis. So I'm being very, very selective. And as I go through this, I'll, I'll discuss things. Look, the Dow is such a mix. It's a Dow 30. It ain't no more industrials. It is the Dow 30. Um, you've got maybe a handful of, if that, industrials. So the action today where it filled the gap of yesterday's big gap down and really an ugly, ugly day, but it did make a Chapman Wave Roman candle on the downside. I like to see these things when they're way up at the top. In fact, the reason why I was happy that we had initially shorted right on the day of the high of the 8th of November uh, in the Dow was because the following, it had a doji candle. Then the following day, it had, although it was a tiny one, it was a Chapman Wave Roman candle. What's a Roman candle? Is where the price opens, has just a fraction, just a slight little wick, just enough to be able to light the candle, and then it plunges to the downside, but then it closes halfway to three quarters off the bottom. So you've got a long wick, big body, but it's a red candle. If it closed above that, that would be a that would be very good action. But at any point, if it breaks halfway into the wick of that candle, 
That's a negative, and it's exactly what happened because that third, se the second session and third session after the Doji candle, uh, time Doji candle, thirty six thousand five sixty five all-time high on the 8th of November, um, saw three red candles and then a pop-up to a single leg A and a failure pattern in the dreaded H, lowercase h, that's what it looks like. Just for those of you who always have new people here, let me just do this. What we're looking at is this particular pattern. I believe strongly that there are really three major uh, diagrammatic patterns. One is a straight line that goes up or down. Two is a cup formation. Three is an arch formation, and you can mix one and two or one and three. In this case, one and three red because it's straight line down. If it makes an arch, fails at a peak A or a B, and then takes out the left side, though you can go down quite sharply and look exactly what happened right here. Certainly, you went down very sharply and went all the way down to 34,022 to the what? To the 200 period exponential moving average. Then you had a whopper of a, of a rally. 36,189, uh, 2, over 2,000 points. And then it comes back sharply to yesterday's 34,715 and rallies back. And now you can see there's an arch formation. There's a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. I'm suspecting we actually are along the Dow, well, we're along the core position that we're still holding all the way from April of last year uh, at about 21,000. Uh, and we've traded in and out with the DOG one to one short of the diamonds one to one long. We've even had uh, U, the U, uh, DOW or the uh, SDOW. But at this particular point, we, we're trying to play the long side just for, I called it a trade. Maybe it's a day, maybe it's two days. I'm not sure, but the moving average is at 35,420 area. That's going to be tough to break above in this particular environment. So that's what I'm looking at. Let me just get rid of this pattern right here. Okay. Now, the next thing is uh, S&P. Look what's happened here with the S&P. It was a better chart formation. It went close within 12 points of the all-time high, the 22nd of November high. V-shaped pattern goes all the way back, goes to about 1231, and then fails and comes all the way down and has tried to rally today. And look what happened. 500 stocks giving back the intraday high of 46 14.20. You're at 45.96 right now. So the day is young. Anything can happen. And as I said, I would love to see the market try to rally like it did, gap up and force people in and then pull back. And then when everyone's just about to give up and say, you know, I, 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 don't, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't like this at all. Boom, you get another rally. And that rally is the one that lasts about until maybe Thursday. It could go longer. I'm just saying. This is the kind of rally that would, first of all, fool everyone and then get everybody in, and then it gives up everything, and that's later on. Now, I'm just looking at it that way, and we'll see what happens. QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. Um, as I said, red candle sort of gaps up and then pulls back. It's still up a dollar at uh, 381.75. This is not the area that you really are. Uh, I think the NASDAQ type stocks are the ones that are going to suffer the most. They still need more of a consolidation in time. IWM, very nice action today at the high of the day, 260.57. This is going to be the counter trend move. Hey, you know, I think I should have stuck with the, the IWM on diamonds for a trade. We'll see what happens here. Good action. I'll be back in a moment. I like to talk about it. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, just, I, I'm not sure if this is a question or not, but Sava, which is uh, Cassava Sciences Biotech, Alzheimer's uh, is one of the areas that they're in. 146.16 high uh, back in uh, maybe July, August. In August, or so of this year, plunges down to uh, the low yesterday of the 34 area. And then it had a 100 round number high back on the, about the 5th or so of November, and it came down very sharply. So I had news today, it was a big red candle, ugly candle yesterday, a red candle where it gapped up, made a little high, high and now it's trading at the low of the day, 43.52. Um, yeah, it's just, this is kind of, biotech is real tough because you gotta wait for news, and then you have to act on the news almost immediately because uh, either there's something that's newsworthy for that particular day, hour, or moment, and you have to capitalize on it as quick as you can, or it is a very long-term situation, and just incrementally you should see, as you can in the monthly, higher highs and higher lows, and then there's usually one huge big spike to the upside, and that's where they you, things are starting to look right, but maybe they've got now one or two final phase uh, the phases that they have to go through and then you get the pullback and they're waiting for results. I don't know if this is the case but right here um, this is a very interesting stock. We have some people that trade, one person in particular in the den who really does understand the company very well. All I can say is, wow, to, 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 to trade these um, is something completely separate to having positions. And to have a position, you're going to have I guess you have to wonder whether this is a biotech stock that uh, um, trades in some kind of Tums or some kind of soothing stomach formula because, wow, they can really do, do stuff. Anyway, so I, I, that was just a, a statement. I thought I'd look at it. So I had a couple of questions. Could you go over the semiconductors again? So the semiconductors we had, the SMH is up 434 at 295.85, stuck in the range for now, but starting to make signs that it looks like lower lows and lower highs. Just let me get show you what I'm looking at here. Let's go alphabetically, AMD. AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. Uh, let's get that again, Advanced Micro Devices. There it is. Uh, trading at 137, 
uh, up a dollar twenty one, had around had a high of one hundred sixty four forty six back on the twenty on the thirtieth of November, and uh, dropped to one hundred thirty. That's thirty points. That's that's a big move down. It's twenty percent. Then it has a big pop to the 145-ish level, and then it pulls back, and now it's just stuck, and I suspect this is telling us that Advanced Micro is in a digestive phase with very limited upside, and maybe at the moment it will be limited downside, but my guess is that over a period of a few weeks, you're going to see lower highs and probably lower lows. Let's go to a... Uh, uh, I'll just do them as they come to mind. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is exactly the same chart, 346 Round number, uh, round number 319 low on the 22nd, high of 346.47. And that's all she wrote because it's making lower lows and lower highs. If you look at the, uh, the daily, weekly, and monthly charts, you can see a topping pattern. But at the same time, it is at 279. It is just 40, uh, 279, 70 points from its uh, all-time high. But this is, a, this is a consolidation that has to be respected. If you look at, uh, what, what was it, Marvell? Marvell had a spectacular earnings report. Gaps up to 93.85, uh, no, gaps up to 88.49. Three days later, it's on the 8th of December, it's at 93.85. And now it's started to do the same pattern of kind of struggling. It hasn't broken down, but definitely struggling at 85. I mean, no big deal. But let's face it. When you draw your trend lines in like this, you say, hey, wait a minute. It needs to break out into the 88, 89 area to show that it's really today's high is 87.29. It's got to go above the trend line and hold to be able to say, I've, I'm getting a new breath of fresh air to go upside. Instead, I think it's going to come down and maybe even have to fill the gap in the 75s. That's a um, fantastic company, Movell Technologies, looking at um, – uh, did I do? I just did Nvidia, didn't I? I don't have them all in front of me. Let's see. Well, what was the one? Oh, MU. Of course, last night. So yes, a Doji candle for MU, which is Micron Tech, trading up seven at 89.05 after a fabulous earnings report. 90.29 uh, all-time high. Not all-time high. 90.29 was the high. The all-time high was 95. Is that 95 and 96? Yeah. Right there, uh, on the in April it hit 96.96 and dropped down to the 65 area. That's cut almost cut in half, and then has a big ruddy back. And this is leg B in the weekly chart, holding much better, of course, because it had great earnings. If it can hold it, otherwise you can get the same pattern with the other, as you saw with other biotechs, where you start to make a gap to the upside, and within a day or so you start to take out the 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 low bar of the gap and you start to fill in the gap and then you're making lower lows and lower highs. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm watching it closely because I'm not, I would not be surprised if the uh, semiconductor area is starting to see a pattern that suggests very strongly. I don't think we're even close to seeing a, a microchip a glut. But we're on the way to seeing uh, something that says either this production or something's going on, in other words, in the semiconductor area. And that's going to slow down the, the chart pattern so that you see them consolidate for a little bit. XLP, I was asked, could I look at the XLP? The XLP, yes, it's having a, a down day, 15 cents at 74.56. This does look like a peak D, E, or F right here, not a C at the uh, most recent all-time high. But it's unusual to, to break from a peak C in the Chapman Wave methodology uh, on a daily basis at an all-time high. Uh, in any of the time frames, usually it's at least a D. So the high that was made at uh, 76, 78 on the 16th of December, we'll see if over the period of the coming weeks, we start to see the markets are pulling back generally and that you get some kind of a, a rally that continues in the S&P Select Staples Spider Fund. Uh, that's where money goes when it's looking for some kind of safety in a, in a, in a, uh, a market that's very vulnerable. Well, let's go to Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. Victor, how are you? Yeah, I'm going to close it. Yeah, how you doing? I'm looking for um, TLTR. I think it hit the Fibonacci at 1741 there, close enough to it. This is Palantir Technology Software Platforms? Yeah. 
So, so well, well one of the things one of the things I'm looking at is when stocks make this cluster formation at a, mm -hmm. a low after a sharp move off the most recent highs, and that I'm going to just go to this high, not the well, the Doji candle high of 29, uh, 29 on the 17th of September, pulled back to the 200 period moving average, which found fantastic support, going to a buy signal, buy mode to a D. And hit that D at 27.20, was it? No, 27.11 on the 9th of November. Mm -hmm. And then made, made a low just three days ago. It made a low in the 17.81 uh, area. So what I'm going to suggest here is that I don't actually see anything in Palantir technology right now. I, all I can say is that if it starts to trade, actually can't just go there, but it's got to trade for a day or two, holding above 19 dollars and 10 cents it's at 1848 right now i'd say it has a chance to bounce actually hold on victor because there's something else i need to say so we'll, we'll be back right. with victor in a moment Dow's up 283 sorry to give back some of the gains we'll be back as well are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I've always said the Dow is uh, two, up 275, S&P's up 200. And when you think about what's happened over the last few days, the 360 area is really what you want to see, not 280 in the Dow. But I do think that the, the main thrust right now is that the Dow will hold a little bit better on the upside but the others are starting to weaken. So we, with uh, Victor in Paramus, New Jersey, and we're looking at Palantir. You know, pa uh, Victor, the, the fact that it made that peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, that's the fourth highest peak, that's where we get cautious, uh, right there just about at 27, 
uh, early early November, and it's just been relentless in making lower lows and lower highs, and now it's gone sideways. So this is the first time that I'm looking at it, especially if you look at the left side low way back in May, was it, or June? And May the week, the May the 14th at 1706 was the low, um, and the low, uh, let's see, 17 point. Uh, 81. So it's almost done that. It's almost up. So you know, you've obviously uh, listened to. Uh, where, you know, I've discussed this many times, where I've said over the period of the last year and a half or so, there are just so many stocks that have gone right back to previous highs within pennies. This is the same thing now on the way down within pennies in a big arch formation. The trouble is on the way down, we're talking gravity. And what happens is on the way up, you throw something and it has this gravitational, uh, it, it reaches a certain level and then it makes a 0% change and then it reverses down. What you want to see is on the way down, it makes the same 0% change and then reverses up. Unfortunately, gravity is a lot stronger on the way down. You've got, you've got the weight that is... It just hasn't been able to do very much. I'm just going to say to you, I'd watch it if you're looking in as a, I wouldn't, in any of these tech type stocks, I would not get into a position that says, oh, I'm putting a lot of money in because this is going to the moon. I'd rather just step, I'd rather treat it as a stock that says, if it goes to the next level in the 1980, 2022 20, area, that's one step. If it pulls back and then comes back again and then surpasses that level, makes stair step moves to the upside, that's the action what I want on the upside because it's done that to the downside. So at this particular point, I'm just going to say I'd, I'd be watching it. You remember, I th did we speak about GME the other day? Um, I can't remember if it was you, but we were looking at it, and I said this is starting to form some kind of at least a trading bottom. You could look at it, and if it starts to move up, you could you could start a position right now, and then you could add a little bit. But the way it's pulling back so sharply after each big move up, you need a V-shaped pattern. Well, we haven't even got that yet in Palantir. It hasn't even made any V-shaped pattern that you can speak. Oops, PLNT. Hmm, what's that, PLNT? That's Planet Fitness. Oh, Planet Fitness has held the 200-period moving average. We want PL. TR, uh, yeah. So PLTR, it it hasn't been able to get that torque to the upside. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, uh, is Victor still there? I'm not sure if Victor's there. Victor, if you're still there, maybe sometimes uh, he hangs up and listens. So just, I'd be real careful. I just, I don't see anything yet. Uh, there may be a little bit of a pop. But you want a V-shaped pattern that says I'm going straight into the, from 1854 into the 1930, 1950. Then I'm going straight into the 20. Then it says, you know what? Now you've got a rectangle formation. You've broken above the resistance. You can go to the next level, and that would be all the way to 2140. I don't even see it doing that yet. So I hope that helps you. So let's go through the other other aspects. I was on. Someone had asked me about online autos. Uh, auto dealers. So I thought I'd go through, look, there's car G, this is car, car gurus. On the 200 period moving average, had a massive move from the uh, just about just about 39s to yesterday's low in the 31s. It's trading at 31.57. I have this as a peak F. I'm not making any changes here in the weekly chart. Car guru C A R G up 51 cents at 31.57. And the monthly chart is on leg D. I'm watching this really closely because uh, if these it, it's so easy now for people to buy on automobiles online but look auto nation makes 133.48 all-time high or was it i think well whatever the high was uh, back in october november and then it pulls back to 110 that's 20 points that's uh, that's 80 was a big percentage right and i don't understand why they're doing that Cars, cars.com, C A R S. Oh, the other one was A N, was the symbol, alternation. And now we've got cars up 51 cents at 15.58, but it's not a great pattern. Look, it's this IWM pattern. Rectangle formation spirals up to a D and goes right back into the rectangle. Cars.com, online car buying. So something's going on there. And that says to me, this is part of what we're looking at in the economy. It is not all that clear. REXR, question about REXR. Um, 
Do you find support at 72? So let, let me just, we were looking at this uh, recently, uh, recently, Zip showed it to me. Rexford Realty Core Inc. Uh, the monthly chart looks absolutely spectacular leg C. It goes from the March of last year's low around about the 32-ish area, 33, and spirals up to today's high of 77.50. The, the, uh, the only way I can count this in the weekly chart, I, I suppose I could say there are other ways to count it, but really, it seems to me I did it very carefully. It got to a PG in the weekly chart. REXR is the symbol, Rexford Realty. And uh, it got on the, the week of the 3rd of September, it got to 63.55. It pulls back, yeah, 55-ish, 56, not a big deal. And then it has the single move up, single leg all the way to today's high. And I have no choice but to call that an A. It looks to me like it's more an E slash A that is completing something, not beginning something. But I'm not going to argue with it. It's fantastic action. And now you've got a very quick strong leg A to the upside after the chapter wave instant restart. D goes quickly to A. And then it goes two bars rest, third bar goes to B. B rest for one bar goes to C. C rest for two bars, it goes three bars, and then it goes to a little doji candle D today. And that says to me it's getting a little bit tired and that there should be some kind of a pullback, but it is a leader in the IYR, I bet it's in the IYR area, the REITs area, although I can't say for sure, I, I should have checked on that. But whatever happens here is... Um, let me go back to REXR. It says to me that there's a good chance that unless there's some kind of, remember I drew this before, and I said there's the Chapman Wave Instant Restart, it broke the arch formation, which is usually a very positive thing. And then what happened is it continues straight up. And then it stalled with a peak and then just a minor B, a little higher, and then just a little higher C, and then just a little higher today's D at 77.50. So all I'm going to say to you is, I, I, if I remember correctly, I see take a little bit off because it's acted so well. But if you want to ask the question, it means that you are a little bit nervous. So just make yourself comfortable, take something off. And all I can say is that it's, this is a leader. It's a leader in the sector. It's doing extremely well. Stocks that make all-time highs tend to stay making all-time highs for quite a while unless the general market just drags them down. And at this particular point, the same cluster we were looking at on the downside with uh, Palantir is exactly what you're seeing in the upside. And that says, you know what? I could fill in all these things. I could even have one, I don't know when earnings are coming out. I could even have one sudden move down from 76.87 to the 73 level and then try to fill it in. So I think rectangle formation with the 73 support level over the next well, we just watched that close. Not fantastic. So, like I said, congratulations to you. I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're back. So Dow's up uh, just about 300. S&P's up 20. It's a divergence there, but that's okay. Uh, as I say, we went back to long with Dow. I don't know how the diamonds. I don't know how long this is going to be, but we, anyway, we're all long, and it's just a trade. That's all. I think we're going to be getting out and maybe switch positions. We'll see. So I, I, in the den, mentioned Marriott's doing well. Look, Marriott M A R, M A R, trading up. Wait a minute. What's going on here? M A R M A R. There you go. Uh, trading up very nicely, up four percent, up six eighteen at one fifty five eighty six. But it has been making lower lows and lower highs, and then made this big arch formation. This is a good move, but it's gone into the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. If Marriott over the next two days, because this could be part of the uh, the, the the virus. Uh, this could be maybe just a hint to say that this variation is not making having quite the effect that uh, some people thought it would have. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it's acting well. But if it starts to trade in from 155 right now, uh, by Thursday, if it touches 158 to 160, I would have to say to put it together with Hyatt. H is a symbol. A fabulous move of 5.66% up 471 at 87.96 right now. Hyatt Hotels, Hyatt, yep, that's what they're called. Um, in the daily, it's gone above the trend line resistance. If you go to H Hilton, HLT, I believe, yep, HL, HLT, uh, trading right now uh, up 5.66 at 146.03. Beta peak F in the weekly. A leg E in the monthly, it's got, a, it's got a week and a half to go to try to get above that. Otherwise, it's going to be a peak E. And it's gone above. Oh, I have to raise this. See, this is what I like to do. Let's just treat this as a lesson in Chapman Wave methodology. I had this as the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. But there was one spike above it. I ignored that because three of them were right exactly where you want them. So this was the uh, outlier. Now, all of a sudden, the outlier is so important that I can raise this inside track repellent zone to here. It has much more legitimacy. And it says, you know what? At 146, up 5.84, if at 146, if it is able to trade anywhere in the 147s, there's a good chance it's going to test that high of 148.75 made on the 7th of December. You go step by step, then all of a sudden, I'm looking, remember this pattern here that I spoke about? Uh, where did it go? Right there. Where I speak about a rally, suddenly stalls, and then you start to see lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it forms a base, and it makes this cup formation or a V-shaped formation, and the price suddenly takes out that upper declining trend line, you can have a one-to-one -one in, in time and in the degree of, of amplitude, the degree of angle, that is, 
Um, and that would be very important because all of a sudden, if this broke decisively above into the 149s this week, I'd have to say, hey, wait a minute, I'm now forming, it could be a V-shaped pattern, but I'd just like to make it easy. I grab this outer line, I draw that, I draw that, and all of a sudden, I'm looking at something, and what can I do? Can I draw a left side, right side price time match? I could, I'll do it right now. I'm using Hilton as an example, just I grabbed it and just purely by chance. So I'm going to go to this particular candle right here. Normally I'd go to the bottom, but just visually you can see we're almost there to the left side using the same number of bars down, uh, up to the a number of bars down. So now what I'm going to do is say new parallel. This becomes green. And look at this, it's all, so easy. It's taking me, what, 15, 20 seconds? And there it is. I, can't, I don't want to move to the right much more because I'd have to change the setting. So what I am going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, this suggests strongly, right, I'm going to go to, usually I go to the left side, the, the second highest off the low, previous highest trough. In this case, it would be stupid. It would be a straight line. It's impossible. So it's a visual thing. I, I could program in this, but there'd have to be so many but if this and but if that. But visually, it's the simplest thing to look at. I just draw my line towards the outer part of this left side, right side price time match would be. And it says, if at any time in the next two, three days, Hilton, HLT, Hilton Worldwide Holdings, uh, hotels resource is able to break this trend line of 148 it's at 146.14 right now that'll be very positive both for the market and then i can change the weekly charts is hey maybe that is an f maybe that's a brand new peak a peak b peak c f slash d is going to go to redeem the weekly but let's just go one step at a time it hasn't broken this trend line yet if it reverses here watch out we've seen a lot of these clusters go to a peak a or a b and then fail and come all the way back down so I'm just watching this, and I thought that it's just nice to be able to see that since someone mentioned Marriott. BA, uh, BA is uh, Boeing. That's helping the market here as well. It's up uh, 9.85, almost $10 at 198.37. Doesn't look great, but it is up, and that's helping the Dow. Um, so a couple of things that I want to look at in the den. We had, uh, no, we had in the uh, Citrix. Wait, CTRX or CTXS? CTXS is what I believe um, you're talking about, and that is Citrix Systems. A big gap up, must have been a good earnings news, up 10 uh, at 95.05, peak A, peak B, peak C, and boom, it's gone to leg D in a gap up. But this is what you want to see. Victor, if you're looking, this is the V-shaped turnaround you want to see in something like a Palantir. You want a strong move up, especially on the weekly candle, with the weekly candle finally taking out strong moving average resistance. And it's this Tuesday, it has to close there by Friday. So this applies to uh, Citrix as well. Um, so there it is. Uh, next question I had was, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, I uh, just, uh, Martin, I... I I do recall periodically it comes up um, about the um, Shemitah, but I not. I'm going to listen to the video you sent. Um, there's a little bit of voodoo there. I but there are some things that are astounding at the coincidences. Let me listen to it in a week or so. I'll, I'll, I'll make some comments. I don't want to just talk out of hand, but I am intrigued. I'm always intrigued. I'm intrigued that when I go back on a chart, like a monthly chart, uh, going back decades in the S&P, I once did this. I don't know if I've still got it. Do I still have it? It would be notated very subtly somewhere. No, I don't. Was it on the S&P? I'd have to do it again. I went through all the full moons. And I, I put the full, and it was it was remarkable that on the one or two occasions that the full moon actually coincided with a huge turn in the market, it was a major turn in the market. But all, if you go, if you go through this, you'd say to yourself, "But wait a minute, all the talks about you know talk about moons and stuff, um, I don't really see anything. Yeah, there's no real big coincidence. There's an occasional coincidence. It's remarkable, 
but I don't see a consistency. So we have a full, I think it was a full moon last night. We're going to see what happens over the next few days. Here we have so far a decent move in the Dow, but it's nothing compared to 321. It should only be a 475 to 530 right now to say, hey, you remember all that stuff from yesterday? It's yesterday's news. I'm today's news right now. It's still saying, you know what? I'm still being influenced by yesterday. I'll be back in a moment for the final segment and uh, question LCID as we go to the break. LCID. I was going to do some of these EVs, so it's right. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Have a uh, final segment today, and don't forget, you got those Tiger dollars. I mean, if you're looking for a, if you're looking for a bargain in the stock market. Go to TFNN front page. You'll see bargains galore with the big discounts on the Tiger Dollars. Fabulous work there. So we're looking at 36.33 for the FXI. Uh, what, what about China was the question. You know, I, I it just broke key support. Uh, it could have a bit of a bounce, got a little gap up here. It's at 36.32 for the FXI. This is the, the big cap uh, ETF. I, I just... I always say, you know, you've got, you've got so many American stocks. I don't know if, why you want to go to China at this particular point. Um, I just, it's, it's a little hazardous, that's all. So I, I can see a little bit of a bounce, but that's it. All right, real quickly, the VIX index. I didn't do that all day. I wanted to hold it for the very last moment. The VIX index is trading at 22.03. We had that big spike 
yesterday went to 27.39 and then close at the low of the day and we followed through at the low of the day. However, you keep having this 200 period moving average. Look how important that is. It was resistance and support and now it's key support. And all I can say is that if fund managers are still buying the VIX, whatever instrument they use to buy the VIX, this is saying that it's still holding pretty high at 22. You want to see the VIX start to trade under 19.50 trade and then close the day under 19.50 to be able to say, hey, now we've got a little bit of a free reign for a bounce in the market, general market, not just the Dow. So keep that in mind. So a couple of things we're looking at here. If the Dow, which is up at 342, is able to hold, oh, I, I'd say to subscribers over 120, but we, let's make it a little different. If the this the Dow, I'd say if it can hold through noon and then go into one o'clock strong, that's going to be very important. And that's what we'll be looking at. So if the Dow is able to hold above about 250, 270 into the one o'clock time frame, there's a chance that more squeezing is going to come for those people who are still short uh, into the close today. It doesn't have to be a big move, but it means every pullback is met with buying. I don't want to see every uh, rally that was selling at this point. It's a kind of oversold. I want the bounce of the short sold. Uh, start to 